Morning everybody from a beautiful Juma Game Reserve. As you can see the sun is just coming up over a misty landscape and it is quite possibly one of the prettier mornings I've had in a while. Anyway, my name is Tristan. On camera I've got Impo this morning. Muscles, how are you doing? Ah, oh, I'm beautiful there. He's beautiful apparently, just like the sunrise. Right, so we are going to try and see what we can find this morning. Obviously it is a really beautiful start to the day and it's probably going to be quite a warm day. Um, so hopefully there's going to be lots of interesting things for us to go and look for. Um, I think we used to call it the McCurdy Hurdy, if I'm not um, mistaken, because Taylor used to love them on bushwalk and go and try and spend time with them. Um, but yeah, they obviously take a bit of a pounding on, on or even these areas. We don't have a huge amount of zebra, and so the lions, when they see them, generally chase them. And as soon as zebra have been chased, they typically then try and move off. Um, they don't particularly like to be harassed by lions, um, so we don't have constant zebras uh, in this area. It's also not the perfect terrain for them. Besides quarantine, the rest of Juma is a bit dense and thick. Dream wild? Uh, well, I wish that you were in Africa too for this sunrise. It is quite a spectacular one this morning. Like I say, with a little bit of mist and um, the coolness of the air, everything is crisp and clean. There's a bit of dew on the grass, and then obviously this beautiful orange ball of fire that's kind of coming up and some zebras in the foreground it really is very very pretty kabuki you say it's a stunning picture it is absolutely a stunning picture and it just amazing how it goes from that carmine color uh, to more tangerine, I suppose, and it will go very white hot during the course of today, I think, because golden hour is going to be about golden 10 minutes before it really starts to burn down on the Madikwe here. We're getting into the business end of the dry season. And I always used to say to people, you know, do you not want to see giraffe or wild dogs or cheetahs? Oh no, we want to see them too. Are they not the big five? No, they're not the big five. And the big five, I think, is an extremely lamentable and sad indictment uh, on nature tourism because uh, look at this creature. Look at this utterly bizarre animal. And just because they didn't have a propensity to kill hunters who tried to kill them, they're not part of the big five. calls here. Well, that's very kind, MJ. It is the greatest compliment you could possibly give me, is to say that I am hilarious. My wife used to think that I was hilarious, but unfortunately, like with most um, relationships that stand the test of time, it's difficult to re keep your jokes fresh. <laughs> now, I get more blank looks and eye-rolling than I used to. <laughs> when I used to get laughs. We're having a wonderful time. Look at this. Fricky, or a close relative of his, is having himself a good role. And he walked up here and he start dig started digging at that bush with his foot, kicked up a huge amount of dust, then rubbed his face on it. I mean, that would surely have torn the skin off your f head, but not for Fricky. And now he's rolling all over it. It's quite fun. I'm wondering how many game drives there have been in the history of safari where a single wildebeest has been the star of the show. And I'm wondering if this might not be the very first time. Let's see if Fricky continues to perform in this manner. And by that, I don't mean a wildebeest being devoured by a crocodile or a lion, but on his own. Fricky, don't stop. That's it. Keep going. You've got a little work to do still. That's it. Oh, 
probably has some Rhinos, yay! Hello! Disappearing above the uh, termite mound here. Look at that! Hello! Beautiful white rhinos. How nice is that? Just giving us a bit of a, a glance there. Nicely around the termite mound, yes. The horn has been, of course, the horns have been removed on the rhinos here in the Sabi sand. A big reason for that is for poaching, so it minimizes poaching. Well, we finally have something to look at. It's been a bit dire this morning. I was got very excited just now because I found a um, track for a leopard, but it was old, sadly. And I thought it maybe, just maybe, was a Clolumbus track. It's for a female, but it's, it seems like from yesterday, maybe. Um, and I drove over it last night. Um, anyway, we've got a little excipiter that's sitting in the tree at the moment. I haven't ID'd it yet, but I will get there now. Um, it's just spotted it as you guys came across. So it's got the red legs and red sear, which is normally that of a gabba. Um, but this is the wrong coloration for a juvenile. Remember that juveniles are different. Well, Jordan said she wanted a leopard, so we've got a cheetah leopard mouse on my socks. Uh, that's the only way I can describe it. Um, it's got ears like a mouse and a little face like a mouse. It's got spots like a cheetah and then a build like a leopard. But there we go. At least one cat for Sunday morning. Um, that is not um, very mobile, but it's something. But yes, these are the, they're supposed to be the lucky leopard socks. Um, I wore these the other day with me. So they were supposed to work, but when in doubt and when you can't find a leopard, um, then you know you've got to put something on the screen, and so hopefully it at least makes everybody smile and have a good a, a laugh for a Sunday morning. Maybe she just feels like it's a timeout. Maybe Saturday night was just too social, and now I just need some alone time on a Sunday morning, just some me time, and to go and reflect upon the rough night that she may have had last night. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Anyway, it is that time though where we are going to say goodbye to all of you. I hope that wherever you are, you have a wonderful evening slash day. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this morning. It was a bit slow, but there's some fun that was had anyway. So we'll see you all this afternoon on our Sunset Safari. And don't forget the live at the waterhole cams after this.